Hi friends, today I'm going to be showing you how to prepare tamarind chicken or this is also called as uh, bullet chicken. This is a side dish recipe. You can serve it for South Indian cuisine or you can serve it as a starter. The ingredients that we require for this dish is 500 grams of chicken, garam masala, chili powder, turmeric powder, half a lime, two tablespoons of tamarind pulp, one tablespoon of ginger and garlic paste. I've thoroughly washed the chicken. I loved all the excess moisture to drain out and I've added it to the mixing bowl. I'm going to combine the garam masala, chili powder, turmeric powder, ginger garlic paste, lemon juice and tamarind pulp. I'm going to give this chicken a good mix and allow this to marinate for 15 minutes before I start frying it. You can allow this to marinate on the kitchen counter itself. You need not refrigerate it. Just place a cover on top, allow it to marinate for 15 minutes. Now I'm going to be adding 2 tablespoons of corn flour, 2 tablespoons of all-purpose flour which is maida and 1 beaten egg. I'm going to give this a good mix. This is going to be the outer covering for the chicken. I've heated enough oil in a wok. I'm gently going to drop the marinated chicken in the hot oil and allow it to fry. The only mistake that I did was I used chicken with bones. So it took longer for the chicken to cook. I had to cook it on low to medium flame. If you're preparing this recipe, make sure you use boneless chicken. Do not use chicken with bones. Because what happens is the tamarind sort of tends to caramelize and it turns brownish color and it turns to burn the chicken. Chicken has to cook fast. You have to use a tender portion of chicken which is chicken breast or you can use even chicken supreme for that matter and you can prepare this recipe but please do not use chicken with bones if you use chicken with bones if you're going to use chicken with bones you're going to end up with a little bit of burnt chicken but that was not a problem for me i really like burnt chicken and i enjoy tandoori recipes so that was not a huge issue for me but if you're doing it at home make sure you don't use chicken with bones once the chicken has fried thoroughly I kept tossing it to all sides till it turned golden brown in color and I made sure the chicken is cooked right through inside that bone and once it's done I drained out from the oil and I've reserved it in a tissue paper. Now I discarded the oil which I fried the chicken in I'm going to use the same wok. In the wok I've added one tablespoon of ghee. To the ghee I've added chopped garlic, curry leaves and dry red chilies. I'm going to fry all of this and I'm going to toss the chicken in this. I've also added pepper powder and just a pinch of carom seed powder. If you do not have carom seed powder, you can use cumin powder. Once the raw flavor from the garlic has reduced, I've just added the fried chicken to the garlic, given it a good toss and I'm just going to serve it up right away. This is excellent side dish for sambar rice, rasam rice. Now the recipe in detail is posted on my blog. Blog link will be in the description box below this video or you can click the icon above this video. You can follow me on social media. All the links will be in the description box below this video. Also subscribe to my Tamil channel if you are a South Indian. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Do try this recipe friends and post your comments. I will be seeing you soon with the next recipe video. This is Vidya Lakshmi. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.